Hello boys and girls, I am a grizzly bear, and today you're going to learn about bears. You'll learn about grizzly bears like me, panda bears, polar bears, and black bears. So stay tuned to this video and learn some interesting and cool facts all about bears. Hello boys and girls, I'd like to introduce myself to you. I am a polar bear. Polar bears are found in the frozen wilds of the Arctic, in Canada, Alaska, Greenland, Russia, and Norway. We are very big bears. Adult polar bears can measure over eight feet long and we can weigh up to 1,500 pounds. Our huge size and weight makes us the largest living carnivores on Earth. Polar bears are well adapted to survive in one of the harshest environments on our planet. As well as our thick fur, we have a layer of fat called blubber, and that helps insulate and protect our bodies from the frosty air and near freezing water. Polar bears also have black skin under our glistening white coat, which helps us soak up the sun's rays and keep us warm. Polar bears also have an incredible sense of smell which we use to track our favorite food, seals. In fact, our sense of smell is so good, we can sniff out prey from up to 10 miles away. Despite our size and our bulk, polar bears are excellent swimmers, and we have been spotted in waters over 62 miles off of the shore. We can comfortably swim at around 10 kilometers per hour using our slightly webbed 30 centimeter wide paws like paddles in the water. Although we're good swimmers, polar bears aren't quick enough to reliably catch seals in open water. Instead, we depend on the ice as a hunting platform. We wait near seal breathing holes or at the ice edge for a seal to surface. Then we snatch it up from the sea and gulp. Earlier before I said our fur is white, but that's not entirely true. Actually, our fur is transparent with a hollow core that reflects the sunlight. This helps polar bears blend in with the surroundings. It's a useful trick, especially when we're hunting our food, the seals. Female polar bears give birth to their cubs in snow dens, usually in November or December. There, the family is protected from the harsh Arctic environment. At birth, the cubs are only about 12 inches long and weigh about a half a kilogram. That's about the same size as a tiny guinea pig. The polar family emerged from the den four to five months later. The cubs stay with their mother for two more years, during which time the polar bear cubs learn the skills needed to survive in the Arctic. Sadly, polar bears are classified as vulnerable. The biggest threat to polar bears is climate change. Rising global temperatures mean that the sea ice is melting earlier and forming later each year, leaving polar bears less time to hunt for food. But the good news is that you can help these amazing animals. So thank you so much for learning about me, the polar bear, about my polar bear cubs. I hope you learned a lot. And now on to the next part of the video where we're gonna learn about grizzly bears. Hello, it's me again, a grizzly bear. Grizzly bears are powerful bears that can be found in certain areas of Canada and the United States. Alaska, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and Washington are the states that are home to the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear is also known as a brown bear. We can weigh between 
300 to 1,500 pounds and stand as tall as 8 feet, just like our cousin the polar bear. Male grizzly bears can be twice as big as females, and a cub can weigh 200 pounds by the time it's one years old. Even though grizzly bears are extremely large, they can run up to 35 miles per hour. That's fast. The grizzly bear looks different than other bears because of its long curved claws, humped shoulders, and a face that looks like it's been pushed in. The large hump on our shoulders gives the grizzly the power to dig in the ground and tear apart dead logs to find food. Most people think that grizzly bears are brown, but they can range in color from black, blonde, silver, and even white. The tip of our fur is sometimes a different color, and that is what gives them a grizzled look. Grizzly bears mate in the spring, and their babies are born from January to March. The females usually give birth to two cubs that weigh only one pound when they are born. A newborn grizzly bear cub don't have any fur when they are born, and they are blind. Grizzly bear cubs stay with their mommy until they are two or three years old. Grizzly bears are omnivores, which means we eat plants and animals. We find our food with our excellent sense of smell. We like to eat berries, rodents, roots, plant bulbs, cutworm moths, and white bark pine nuts. Mmm. We'll also eat mountain sheep, goats, deer, moose, and elk. And sometimes grizzly bears will even eat black bears. Grizzly bears spend a lot of our time searching for food and eating in the late summer and the early fall. Extra food adds an extra layer of fat to our bodies so we can live in our dens for about four months during the coldest weather. During that time, the grizzly bears don't eat or drink. Grizzly bears that live in the United States are becoming a threatened species and we need to be protected from extinction. So what can you do to help? You can do exactly what you're doing now, learning about bears and then trying to help us so that we don't go extinct. If you like this video so far and like the information you're learning about bears, make sure to put your big paws on that thumbs up button and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to Dot Dot Toys. Bye bye. Now it is time for me to introduce myself. I am a black bear. But American black bears are found in Canada, Mexico, and North America. We mostly eat grasses, herbs, and fruit, but will sometimes eat other things, including fish. A black bear's coat has lots of layers of shaggy fur, which keeps it warm in cold winter months. We may be called black bears, but our coats can be blue-gray or bluish-black, brown, and even sometimes white, believe it or not. Our short claws make black bears expert tree climbers. We may be large, but black bears can run up to 40 kilometers per hour. These big black bears have a very good sense of smell and can often be seen standing on our hind legs, sniffing scents. We usually live in forests, but black bears are also found in mountains and swamps. Black bears spend winter dormant in their dens feeding on body fat they have built up over the summer and during autumn. We make our dens in caves, burrows, or other sheltered spots. Sometimes we even make them in tree holes high above the ground. So that's a lot of facts about me, the black bear. I hope you learned something interesting. And now on to the last bear you'll learn about in this video, my cousin, the panda bear. Hi, boys and girls. I am a panda bear. 
or a giant panda, but typically were always referred to as just pandas, were black and white bears. In the wild, were found in thick bamboo forests high up in the mountains of central China. We are omnivores, which means that we eat both meat and plants. But while pandas will occasionally eat small animals and fish, bamboo counts for 99% of our diets. We are very big eaters. Every day we fill our tummies for up to 12 hours, eating up to 25 pounds of bamboo. Giant pandas grow to between 47 inches and 60 inches, about 5 feet and weigh between 165 to 300 pounds. Scientists aren't sure how long pandas live in the wild, but in captivity, we live to be about 30 years old. Baby pandas are born pink and measure only about six inches. That's about the size of a pencil. We are also born blind and only open our eyes six to eight weeks after birth. It's thought that pandas are solitary animals, with males and females only coming together briefly to mate. But recent research, however, suggests that giant pandas occasionally meet outside of breeding season and communicate with each other through scent marks and calls. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the grizzly bear, the black bear, the panda bear like me, and the polar bear. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Bye bye!